The rocket force, as a high-tech branch of the Chinese military, is plagued by corruption far beyond what many might imagine. Recent reports in the media detail U.S. intelligence assessments that highlight examples of corruption within the People's Liberation Army, including missiles being filled with water instead of fuel, and missile silo covers in western China that are inoperable, preventing effective launches. This corruption has reportedly angered Xi Jinping, potentially derailing his ambitions to forcefully reunify Taiwan. On January 6, Bloomberg News published a report by senior defense correspondent Peter Martin and senior White House reporter Jennifer Jacobs. Citing an anonymous source, the report describes severe corruption within China's rocket force and the entire defense industrial base, so much so that Xi Jinping feels compelled to intervene and address the issue. U.S. assessments indicate that corruption within the PLA, especially the rocket force, has led to a loss of confidence in its overall capabilities. This has also hindered some of Xi Jinping's priority military modernization projects. In the past six months, anti-corruption investigations have involved over a dozen senior military officers. Bloomberg cited Joel Wuthnow, a senior research fellow at the National Defense University's Center for the Study of Chinese Military Affairs in the U.S., who noted that the latest purges reaffirm that Xi Jinping's efforts to root out military corruption have not been successful. Former PLA Air Force Staff Officer Yao Cheng revealed severe cases of misuse of equipment and material within the Chinese military. Yao, now living in the U.S. and maintaining close contacts with former military colleagues, described in a January 8th interview with Radio Free Asia how, during his time in the service, family quarters used aviation fuel from aircraft tanks for cooking, which burned with a green flame and was odorless. He even recounted instances of using solid fuel from missiles to cook hot pot because other supplies were insufficient. Yao frequently visited the armory for small, round pieces of this solid fuel for these purposes. Yao also disclosed on X that a comprehensive inspection of the rocket force revealed numerous issues. Some rockets intended to be filled with liquid fuel were found to contain water. Strategic missile silo covers were inoperable due to a lack of maintenance, and leaks of sensitive information were ongoing, with even the inspection report itself being obtained by the U.S. Yao confirmed the existence of these problems through contacts in China. A netizen posted on X on January 8th recounting a friend's experience in a Wuxi-based armored unit. His friend reported that during a senior-level inspection, the unit's emergency fuel storage was found empty, the fuel having been stolen and sold. The rocket force, established as China's fourth military branch beyond the Army, Navy, and Air Force, and formerly known as the Second Artillery Corps, was elevated to an independent military service by Xi Jinping in 2015. Xi has described the rocket force as the core of strategic deterrence, a strategic pillar of China's status as a major power, and a cornerstone of national security. The Chinese Communist Party has aimed to achieve military modernization by 2027, investing billions of dollars in this endeavor. To meet this goal, Beijing's defense budget has consistently grown faster than its economic growth rate. The rocket force manages China's expanding nuclear arsenal. According to last year's U.S. Department of Defense report on Chinese military capabilities, China has built three missile launch sites, Yumen in Gansu, Hami in Xinjiang, and Ordos in Inner Mongolia, with an estimated total of at least 300 launch silos for ballistic missiles. Despite China's focus on developing solid-fuel missiles, as per official media disclosures, a significant portion of its arsenal still consists of liquid-fueled missiles. The nuclear missile Dongfeng 5B, for example, has increased its range to over 14,000 kilometers by upgrading to more advanced liquid fuel rocket engines. The Dongfeng 5B nuclear missile, a mainstay of China's land based intercontinental ballistic missile forces, has been featured in several CCP military parades. The PLA is considered one of the most corrupt militaries in the world. Issues of corruption in military equipment procurement have surfaced before. In 2020, reports emerged that the East Wind Warrior, China's equivalent of the Humvee, suffered quality issues. During a border conflict with India, it was easily breached by Indian forces, leading to the death of Chinese soldiers. The East Wind Warrior Armored Vehicle, or otherwise known as the Dongfeng Mengxi in Chinese, was touted as the premier brand of Chinese military vehicles. However, it has been mired in controversy. U.S.-based civil rights activist Han Lianxiao revealed on X 
that this Dongfeng Group's military off-road vehicle was suspected of using low-cost steel with widespread kickbacks and profiteering. Screenshots of conversation suggested that bids for special steel from the North Steel Institute were replaced with ordinary steel plates after winning contracts, with profits being split and those involved receiving up to 60 million yuan each. Despite Dongfeng off-road vehicles' swift denial and warnings that they will report the above as malicious defamation to the police, two senior figures at Dongfeng off-road were subsequently investigated. Chen Jianxian, the deputy chief engineer, and Zhou Wangsheng, deputy general manager of Dongfeng Motor Group's special equipment division. Additionally, 5,000 military vehicles were returned, and Dongfeng Motor Group's military supply qualifications were revoked. This mirrors Xi Jinping's method of addressing corruption within the rocket force. An overseas Chinese person revealed, It's not surprising. A friend in the PLA's logistics division told me years ago that out of a 10 billion yuan defense project budget approved by the central government, it was a miracle if a third of it actually reached the grassroots construction troops. It is no surprise that there were frequent accidents, because the equipment used by these troops was even far more outdated than contemporary civilian construction equipment. As corruption scandals in the PLA and military enterprises continue to surface, the Chinese public is increasingly questioning the PLA's readiness for battle. Corruption in the military sector affects ammunition, aviation, ships, vehicles, and more, leading to the colloquial terms corrupt shells and tofu guns. Historically, procurement contracts have been a major avenue for corruption in the PLA. Xiao Huangshu Associate Research Fellow at Taiwan's Institute for National Defense and Security Research commented that many corruption cases occur in China, but details are often unknown. However, he noted that internal corruption seems to be very severe. Xu also mentioned that the U.S. sharing of intelligence with the outside world could be part of a psychological warfare strategy. He explained, From what I've heard, the U.S. sometimes turns internal intelligence into public information which serves to intimidate the CCP by showing them how well-informed the U.S. is about their internal affairs. Sometimes this information might make the CCP leadership more vigilant, wondering how the U.S. got hold of such intelligence and prompting them to investigate these matters. Xu believes that even with Xi Jinping's efforts to rectify personnel, it is challenging to change overall corruption. He argues that tackling corruption on one front may inadvertently fuel corruption in another faction potentially among those who are Xi's close allies or subordinates. On January 7th, independent commentator and columnist Sai Shen Kun expressed on X that corruption in the PLA extends far beyond what is publicly known, engulfing nearly every department and area. He stated that promotions within the military have become a transaction with explicit prices, and that unless one is a CCP princeling, Anyone with ordinary background seeking promotion must adapt to and accept this system of buying ranks with money. Tsai pointed out that the military's corruption is staggering, not only in terms of the procurement of materials for various research and development projects, but also in everyday expenditures and lavish spending. He cited the example of the South China Sea Land Reclamation Project, where the budget and actual expenditures differed vastly, with at least tens of billions siphoned off. Such examples, he said, are numerous. Tsai believes that Xi Jinping's purge of corrupt generals may have a certain deterrent effect, but it is minimally effective. No matter who takes over, they are likely to repeat the same mistakes, especially in the military. The so-called loyalty is built on interests. Without benefits, what loyalty can there be? The PLA's startling corruption has led to a widespread purge, inevitably causing disarray in troop morale and a severe impact on their spirit. On January 7th, Yao Cheng posted on X, In discussing the rocket force with friends in China, they told me that over half of the rocket force's warrant officers have filed reports requesting a transfer, indicating a loss of military spirit. Xi Jinping began a large-scale purge of the military in the second half of last year. On December 29, 2023, the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress of the CCP abruptly revoked the delegate status of nine senior military officers. Five of them had served in the rocket force, including former commanders Liu Chao and Zhou Yanning, former chief of staff and deputy commander Li Chuan Guang, former equipment department director Lo Hong, and Zhang Zhenzhong, who served as deputy commander of the rocket force before becoming deputy chief of staff at the Central Military Commission Joint Staff Department. 
This confirmed rumors of a high-level purge within the rocket force. The other four included former Air Force Commander Ding Lai Hung, former Deputy Director of the Central Military Commission's Equipment Development Department Zhang Yulin, Deputy Director Rao Wenmin, and Zhu Xin Chen, a naval officer who was Deputy Commander of the Southern Theater Command. On December 27, 2023, three military industrial experts Wu Yansheng, Liu Shiquan, and Wang Changqing lost their membership in the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. Reports suggest they were from the aerospace system and might have been involved in the rocket force corruption case relating to military equipment procurement. Previously, on October 24, 2023, the NPC Standing Committee removed Li Shangfu from his position as Minister of National Defense and State Counselor. He was also the former director of the Central Military Commission's Equipment Development Department. Cao Jianwen, director of the International Relations Research Center at National Chengchi University in Taiwan, noted in an interview that the NPC delegates who were dismissed mostly came from technical military backgrounds. They were mainly situated in the rocket force and equipment procurement systems, indicating significant issues in these areas. The fall of Li Shangfu and the dismissal of the other senior officers are indications of a major shakeup within the PLA, the extent of which is currently difficult to estimate. On December 14, 2023, independent news website Asia Sentinel revealed that the CCP authorities' crackdown on the rocket force had led to the arrest of at least 70 people. This could be the largest scale action against the military in modern Chinese history. On January 1, 2024, the PLA's official newspaper pledged in an editorial to launch an anti-corruption war this year, signaling the possibility of a new wave of purges. However, just a few days later, on January 5, the PLA daily claimed in a commentary that the military had achieved overwhelming victory in building party integrity, governance, and anti-corruption efforts with continued results. This contradictory front-page article, proclaiming a significant victory against corruption, adds to the confusion given the clear and widespread corruption that is currently within the military. A netizen on X sarcastically commented, What overwhelming victory! Our army is in disarray, defeated without a fight. Self-media LT Vision posted on platform X, mocking, President Xi's lies have been exposed. In December 2018, President Xi announced to the whole party that anti-corruption had achieved overwhelming victory. How come, five years later, corruption has resurfaced and the CCP claims another overwhelming victory? Is CCP's corruption akin to a weeble that wobbles but won't fall down? Someone else commented, For every old corruption Xi Jinping eradicates, new corruption emerges. The giant rats within the military personally promoted by Xi himself are the best illustration of this. Akio Yaita, chief of the Taipei Bureau of Japan's Sunke Shinbun, said in an interview, Corruption in the CCP is not limited to those in the higher ranks, but also includes the military-industrial complex producing weapons and equipment. The entire supply chain is corrupt. Those being purged are individuals personally promoted by Xi Jinping, and now a major scandal has erupted. Suddenly, an entire military branch, the rocket force, has disappeared. This seriously undermines the confidence of CCP bureaucrats in Xi Jinping. Amidst the continuous downfall of senior PLA generals, various rumors abound. Recently, multiple sources claim that Xu Qiliang, the former vice chairman of the Central Military Commission, has encountered trouble. Li Jun, a well-known Chinese-Australian female writer, posted on X on January 8, saying she received a letter from a friend. Last night's explosive news, Xu Qi Liang, former vice chairman of the military commission and air force general, was taken away from his home for investigation. However, she noted, as for which last night this refers to, I don't know, I only know it is recent. Xu Qi Liang served as the commander of the PLA Air Force from September 2007. He later became a member of the military commission and was promoted to vice chairman and a member of the Politburo in 2012. He was re-elected in 2017. At the age of 72, Xu stepped down at the CCP's 20th Congress in October 2022. Xu's major promotions occurred during Hu Jintao's administration. He showed his loyalty to Hu as deputy chief of the general staff, leading to his rapid rise under Hu's patronage. Before handing over power to Xi Jinping, Hu positioned Xu as the vice chairman of the military commission. 
Political commentator Zhou Xiaohui revealed in a January 4th article that he learned from a friend in military that Xi Jinping is preparing to investigate Xu Qiliang. Zhou Xiaohui stated that following the public removal of Hu Jintao from the 20th Party Congress venue and the mysterious death of Li Keqiang, it's unsurprising that Xu Qiliang, who once pledged loyalty to Hu, would be purged. However, Zhou believes that even with Xu's arrest, Xi Jinping won't feel secure. It might even lead to desperate military generals, once loyal to Xi attempting to overthrow him. On January 3rd, Yuan Hongbing, a legal scholar in Australia, wrote in Taiwan's Liberty Times that, according to whistleblowers within the CCP system, a group centered around Liu Yuan, son of former Chinese President Liu Xiaoqi, and Deng Pufang, son of former Chinese President Deng Xiaoping, reached a political consensus. They accused Xi Jinping of completely betraying Deng Xiaoping's reform and opening policies and regressing to the Cultural Revolution era in his decade-long rule. The article revealed that a group of military generals, viewed as close to Xi Jinping, participated in the joint statement. This is also a significant reason behind Xi Jinping's purge of the rocket force and defense minister, Li Shangfu. In his 11 years in power, Xi Jinping used anti-corruption as a pretext for political struggles, suppressing other factions within the CCP, and forming an army loyal only to him, thus making numerous enemies. Now, even this Xi's army may not be reliable, as they could be purged for disloyalty. Analysts suggest that officers display loyalty mainly for promotions and wealth, not out of a genuine desire to serve on the battlefield. Given the current situation where numerous individuals are arrested and others implicated, leading to stalled promotions, potential demotions, or punishments, a significant internal backlash within the military appears inevitable. Xi Jinping's hold on the gun barrel may be loosening, and if military officers collude with political figures, the consequences could be dire.